what's up, you fucking nerds? Uh, it is another episode of Trimmer Death Plays, and today I'm playing Mortal Kombat X. Ooh, like brand new game instead of some older ones. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play through a tower once or as much as I can before Mr. Baby X wakes up. Because I'm doing this a little later than I intended. Here we go, here's the tower. Alright, I'll explain a little bit about the game as it goes along. Um, let me see. I was using Aaron Black a lot earlier, but let's go with Scorpion. And I'll just go with his default outfit. Scorpion. Because he has an outfit that's him, like, not as a Spectre. Uh, his Hanzo Hazashi outfit, which I think is really fucking cool. Because we hadn't, like, really seen him as a human in-game. Like, that hadn't happened before, so... Even though he seems to keep his powers in the gameplay and the story mode, he doesn't seem to have his spectral powers. Hold, Scorpion. I've got a goat, You've a ram. For the last time. Are you certain of that? Round one. Yeah. Fight. I can't, I'm not gonna, I almost spoil something about the game. Uh... <laughs> really glad I didn't. I kind of wish I had chose a different character because his brutality is kind of hard to do. Or the ones that I've got unlocked. Uh, punchy. You dickhead. It's it, it's hard to play while you're talking. I said that in the last video, but it really is. Jumpies. Ah. Don't you suck at fun. This is the end of you. Yeah. Do, douche, douche, cheese. I'm gonna look at some stuff really quick. Um. Oh, I got a new one. I don't know if. Okay, cool. Well, I'll try that one. Round two. We're gonna try a brutality that I haven't done before. Oh. Okay, so I've got to do that as the last move. So brutalities in UMK3 and MK Trilogy were just basically giant combos that are almost impossible to remember. I never memorized one. In MK Trilogy, I just uh, used the easy fatality system, which they actually kind of brought back for this one, and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit after this match. This is not exactly a system. Let me get his... I'm gonna be in the air when I do this. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh my god, you can... I did it too, and I fucking died. I should have done it on easy. I should have played this on easy. So I can talk and do stuff at the same time. Woo! Suck it, bitch! Alright, let's start using my ninjutsu moves. Okay, so you have variations of characters, and like this ninjutsu version of Scorpion can use swords and sword attacks. My favorite one. Is you just get him with a spear and then juggle him like this. Now you do this. I'm gonna kick him once. I'm gonna try to do that double punch thing. Come on, I just need to hurt him a little bit. Every time I try to do something, there we go. Ah, I didn't do it. Oh my god, see, this is, this is... Oh my god. Finish. Okay, well, never mind. God fucking damn it. Alright, um, what was I gonna do? Fucking shit. Let's just do normal fatality. Here we go. Get ready for it. Suck it. Oh no, I'm holy. Oh my god, he's like Nick Cage and John Travolta. Scorpion wins. That should have just been fatality. called Nick Cage. That's the name of the fatality. Uh, Alright, skip it. Skip this. 
Kano looks pretty cool in this one. He has like Su Hao's heart enhancement. Like, um, I don't remember in story mode if he got like stabbed through the heart or something, or that's just something they added. I'll have that rope spear. His variations He's have different, um, Who said I want different fight? colors for his eye and heart one. enhancement Fire. or replacement, whatever it is. He's Dick Cheney. Except, yeah, I think he had an actual heart transplant. It's like, oh, hey, there's probably a kid out there who can't afford a heart transplant. Let's give this 80 year old rich guy. Boom. I'm just. <laughs> uh, that's awful. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna start calling Kano Dick Cheney. Dark Kano Cheney. Alright, I'm just gonna x ray him. Like, lick it. Just lick these spectral balls, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Fun. This is the end of you. Round two. Fight! Ah. Now I gotta build up a uh, enhancement bar so I can do this proper. See in the background they're building a statue. If you haven't played this game yet, uh, Outworld has a new emperor named Kotal Khan, and I'm guessing Khan is just like the title, kind of like uh, Caesar was. And he's just he's not related to Shao Kahn at all. They're not the same species or anything. He's actually worshipped as an Aztec god at some point in the past. So that's neat. Oh come on, Kano. Let's see if I can do this now. Oh, come on. There we go. And it didn't work. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, so that didn't work. I guess maybe he was like jumping or something and it made it go like, I don't know what to do. Alright, let's do this other one. Oh, well, now it's. Maybe I put it in wrong. Oh, I did. I did. There we go. This is the fatality uh, he did in the trailer to Sub Zero. I gotta dodge his head. I roll and his mouth open. Well, I've got a beard. Kenshi. Everyone's bearding out in this game, like, everybody's got a beard. Scorpion's got a beard. It's like the most beard-friendly Mortal Kombat yet. Ancestors uh, guide me. To... The Netherrealm claims them. Uh, I have none, or me as well. Round one, fight! <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of glad to see Kenji back as a full-on character in the story mode. Um, he was just a DLC character for the last one. They were focusing more on the um, cast from the original Mortal Kombat trilogy and not on characters from like, 4 and forward. Speaking of, Shinnok's the boss in this game. That surprises the hell out of me. But I always felt like he was a really cool boss in MK... Uh, in MK Mythology Sub-Zero and he just got a bad rap because they did a horrible job with him in MK4. MK4 just did a horrible job with a lot of things. Fight. I wanted to do a MK Gold video because I have a Dreamcast and a copy of that but uh, just didn't have time to put it out before this came out. I may still do it but uh, we'll see. There we go. That's what I have to do for the brutality to work. Sorry, I'm interrupting this. I'm um, just making sure there's not like something on there I'm missing. Nope. Maybe I'll hold back or something. Maybe they forgot to put that down. A lot of them you have to hold a direction for it to work. <laughs> Uppercut him and then I'm gonna try it. 
perfect. There it is, brutality. So, as I was trying to explain earlier, it's no longer a giant combo. It's you have to do something very specific at the end of the match when they have low uh, health, and it'll instantly kill them. In that instance, you have to do an enhanced teleportation punch, and it will instantly decapitate them. And there's tons, there's five brutalities a character. Five. Two fatalities, five brutalities, and then five faction kills per faction that are transmutable to other characters. And, uh, yeah, and five factions, I think I said it was. So there's 25 faction kills, and I belong to the Brotherhood of Shadow right now. I'll do a faction kill on Sonya. Taking you down, Scorpion. Are you now? Will not, best me. not my. Oh, I'll show you going down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not very nice to Katana. And not Katana, Sonya. Son Kantan, la la la. Yeah, the whole 25 years in the future thing is pretty interesting, considering. Like, that's when Armageddon would have happened, I guess. Because the first game was supposed to happen, I guess, like in 1991 or 2. They don't explicitly say that, but that's what they're inferring. So this is, like, the present now. Like, the 25 years later thing, after they defeat Shinnok, is supposed to be present. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky Sonya. Boom. I'll do an x-ray on her. I don't need that extra. Round two. Fight. I take that back. I might try to get the other brutality done. If I don't, I'll do a faction kill. The other one's kind of hard to do. I like having, like, some... Like, the faction kills are really easy to do. It's like hold block in like two or three directions, whereas fatalities are somewhere in the middle, and then brutalities can be either really easy or really hard. I like having that. Okay, I think I can do it. There it is. Boom! Ah, little skeleton arms. Wins. Bitch! I like how he does his old school uh, winning pose. Like, victory! That both him and Sub Zero and Reptile had in the first game. There might be a hiccup here. I have to keep the video segments 15 minutes ish, so I'll probably stop capturing and restart again. So there might be a little hiccup here in the editing process, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys won't mind. Raiden's really cool in this one. Such promise wasted. My life ended through treachery. With fortitude, you could begin anew. Round one. And he does, Fight. even though he kind of like is a douchebag at one point. I'm not gonna ruin it. Scorpion. Scorpion's my favorite character. He douches out. I'm just glad to see him as a good guy at all in this game. He's always just like somebody's little bitch doing something. Like, sometimes he's a wild card, yeah, but lately he's just been like, Oh, well, I, I'm gonna go surf, surf Quan Chi and MK4, and then... I guess that's not true, but it just seems like with the films and everything, he's usually somebody's bitch. Oh, God damn it. Piece of shit. Oh, there he goes. I lost. I've lost it all. Fight! Boom! They suck this dick, motherfucker! I don't think so. And... It's like Benny Hill music. I should just speed up a match on uh, when I edit it. You can see like Quan Chi's growing a revenant back there. I think it's supposed to be a revenant. Because like, he's uh, at one part he's growing one of the characters, trying to like steal his soul. Uh, All right, 
right, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to restart. All right, we are recording again. Um, yep, cool. All right. So yeah, he's growing an alternate body for the character, which is really cool because like you see Sub Zero, uh, what's his name? Not Bihan, but the younger one, the younger Sub Zero, and he's not a cyborg anymore. You're like, how the hell did that work? Like, did, why didn't he turn into like a cyber revenant or whatever? But it turns out he has to grow a body when he grows it. It's not. Even though Jax has his arms, but they look all enchanted, so I'm wondering if he made him metal arms because he liked that. I'm not sure. That that is kind of a plot hole there now that I think about it. Or maybe there was enough of Jax's body to like infect him with whatever. And then with Sub Zero's there was so little left he had to grow him a new one. I don't know. But then why would Johnny Cage need a body? Faction kill. So yeah, that's like, oh, I can do this if, I, if I'm feeling a little lazy. Now, the way easy fatalities work, and I, I'm not going to do one right now because I don't need to because they're not, they're not that hard to begin with, um, is you earn them in either the crypt or by doing other things, and or you can buy them. And that's with real, with real, for reals money, not for coins with a K, but for reals money, you can buy easy fatalities, which is dumb. Which brings up the whole micro trans, print, tra la la la, transaction thing. Um. What have you become? Uh. I have returned to Quachi's service. Oh no. Ryu are your enemies. Round one. Uh -huh. That's kind of interesting. That doesn't happen in the story. So, yeah, the microtransactions, I'm not, I'm not, like, crazy against it necessarily, because I don't use it. It's kind of like, oh, well, I don't have to do this to even get the easy fatalities. I can honestly just earn them. Or you can use microtransactions to get everything, oh man, I missed, to get everything in the pit, or the, not the pit, the crypt. The other thing you're gonna notice, uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks to get everything in the crypt. Actually, I really like the way the crypt's structured. It's almost got some Zelda-esque mystery solving in it by getting items to unlock doors and whatnot. So that's really neat. Uh, but I don't mind it because I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be a douchebag who buys all the unlockable stuff. I know some people are saying it ruins it. I'm like, well, I mean, it ruins it if you do it, but I'm not going to do it, so... <laughs> Come here. Oh, for that, uh, spear brutality I did earlier, that, uh, you have to have 50% health to do that. Which is why it's kind of hard to do. You have to make sure you're whipping some hardcore ass. Okay, so, if you, if you haven't played the game yet, this is, uh, Takeda. Takeda Takai... I don't, I don't remember his other name, but Takeda. Um, he is Kenshi's son, who after Scorpion was freed by Quan Chi after the whole Shinnok thing, which happens at the beginning of the game. Um, he sends him to the Shirai Ryu, which Scorpion, now Hanzo Hazashi, was reforming after he regained his humanity because of, uh, I think Raiden restored it for him. And... He trained Kenshi's son to keep Ken, uh, Takeda safe from people who are trying to kill Kenshi. Uh, another faction kill. What's this? Woo! This is like the Freddy Krueger kill almost. It's like Johnny Depp all over again. And there are no cyber ninjas in this game. Smoke shows up for a little bit, but he's not a cyber ninja. Uh, tons of cameos, tons, mountains of cameos. Cabal Striker. Some of the commentary I made about Striker last time uh, got a little feedback. Not not even negative feedback, which was um, which is great because I thought he had some negative feedback. I wasn't like trying to like paint all cops as bad or anything. I was just 
mentioning how there's a lot of bad cop news as of late. And uh, even in between these videos, there was some. But how Stryker being like, yeah, pr police brutality, let's like execute people in the middle. Like, you literally go to the street level of Mortal Kombat 2011 and execute a person. I mean, hell, you could execute, uh, well... No, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there, I'm not gonna go there, cause that's, even mentioning that makes me sick, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna mention the feet. Uh, all, if, if someone were racist leak inclined, they could make a video with Stryker in the street and do something awful with other characters, and I'm not, I'm not gonna give anyone ideas, but... Now here, this is Farah Tor, which is two different characters technically. They got that little girl, or I've heard it was a, an actual little person in one uh, article I read, but I don't know if it's a little girl or a, or a little person. You don't want to, no, you don't know what I mean by a little person. I'm not, I'm not. There's terminology that they don't like being used, which is their community, so I'm not going to use terminology that they, they don't like. Um, not to mention it may be, uh, uh, there goes that brutality I really, I really wanted to do on him. It might be in, in, incorrect terminology, too. So, yeah, I don't know if it's a little person or a little girl. I think it's a little girl, though. We got a giant muscle-bound monster for her, for her birthday. He's kicking my ass now. Let me throw you, bitch. Ah, teleport punch. Oh, I got killed. Maybe I can do that brutality still. I actually played a little online today. I didn't do bad. I, I won a match, lost a match, and then a guy quit out. So I guess I technically won two matches. <laughs> Uh, how did he, he didn't really, he didn't really duck that, that just like went through his head. Like, that's not really ducking, per se. Ah, I missed the command, damn, I did it again. Shit. They changed the, uh, spear command back to what it was in the, uh, the 3D games, Deadly Alliance and all that. Piece of shit. I want to do the brutality on it because I bet it looks crazy. With his big arms. Uh, it didn't kill him. Not my. Finish. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I think I might have been. I don't know. I might have did it wrong. Whatever. Let's do the other faction kill I have unlocked. Twisted magic. This is kind of like Tanya's kiss brutality in MK4. This made look crazy with his big arms. Da. That's cute. Wins. Faction kill. That's my little symbol, my little chibi scorpion. And uh, Aaron Black's gun belt. Aaron Black is my favorite new character, though. He is pretty fucking cool. He's just a cowboy, but he's literally a cowboy. You found out. You find out in the. Uh, I don't know if they say it in his bio or, or his ending. Um, I know it's in his ending, but he uh, actually got enchanted by Shang Tsung, so his aging slow. So he's literally a cowboy from the Old West who went to Outworld and liked Outworld better than Earth. Scorpion. Your end is near. You best keep your hands off it. Round two. Oh. Five. All right, so. <laughs> Cassie Cage is Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage's daughter. After the 25 year old gap between Shinnok being imprisoned at the end of the alternate Mortal Kombat 4, as I'm calling it, and the new timeline where Armageddon and Deadly Alliance and Deception don't happen. Or if they happen, they don't talk about it right away. So, yeah. That happened, and she's pretty cool. I was I thought I was gonna get annoyed as shit with Johnny Cage and Cassie Cage in this game, but uh, I don't know. They wrote, they wrote them pretty well. Yeah, they're smart asses, but it, I don't know. It doesn't annoy the piss out of me like I thought it would. I actually find the dialogue funny. Maybe that's just because they wrote it really well. 
Ah. Shit. I make violence look good. Cassie. Cassie Cassie. That's actually the name of my Thank friend's ex-girlfriend, who I couldn't remember her name for the life of me the other day. Probably because I didn't have to buy her. Oh, you bitch. I didn't have to buy her a Christmas present because she broke up with him right before Christmas like a jerk. That's better than his last girlfriend. He broke, with him on, broke up with him on Valentine's Day, which is the worst thing I've ever heard anybody doing to another human being that wasn't murdering them or physically assaulting them. I guess those two things are technically worse. I know if someone broke up with me on Valentine's Day, I would actually rather have gotten punched in the face a couple of times if they just waited a week to do it. Or did it a week before. They just punch me a couple times. Don't do it on the day. Anyway, so yeah. Cassie Cage is pretty cool. She has a big role in the game. She has an outfit that looks like a workout outfit. Um, honestly, it kind of looks... It doesn't look exactly like it. It kind of reminds me of Sony's outfit in the first Mortal Kombat. Uh, as in the 92 one. Because I was like... She's basically wearing like a workout uniform. Why why the hell? Uh, I screwed it up. Oh well. Finish her. I need to memorize these. I had like Aaron Black's memorized. Go. I was like, why is Sonya supposed to be special forces? Oh no. Uh whoosh. I love that. I love that. Funk. Um, why is she wearing like a gym outfit? Like, that makes no sense. I guess they were just like, "Hey, let's motion capture some people." And here we got a we got a gym outfit around. Let's let's just put that on. Let's just put it on her. There you go. And then in MK3, they just didn't even. They were like, "Here's a newer gym outfit." Now, if you get this game. And you didn't pre-order it, you do have to buy Goro. He's pretty cool. Um, it sucks though, you have to buy him. I don't know if he's on disc DLC or not. I I honestly don't know. He's not in the story mode. Um, uh, I did not look that up. So Parker. if you if you know if he's on disc or not, let me know. You. I know some people Round have one. some problems Fight. with that. Like they really don't like on disc DLC. Um, I I don't like it, but Am I not gonna buy Goro if I if I hadn't pre-ordered it? Which I did, so I got him for free. Not to mention all the other boss DLC characters coming up. Now there are some characters like Tanya and Rain. Or well, Tanya's coming as DLC, but Rain and Sindel uh, aren't, as far as we know yet. But they're inform they're, they've got some fight information in the game. Boom! He's way easier than he was in 2011. He's he's barely a boss character now. He still has powerful moves, but he's not like impossible to beat on the first go. Oh shit! If I were talking, I would. If I weren't talking, this would be a whole lot easier. I just beat Shinnok on the first try. Ah. Come on, do the little spear combo. I even, I even got the x-ray move and I wasted it on that round. That's my favorite thing to do. I almost liked his doppelganger or whatever it is style. And I, I don't like that now. I love ninjutsu. I, know, I love that sword combo. Here it comes again. Some guy online <laughs> seemed to really not like me doing that. Oh, you piece of shit. You think you're cool? Little wiener and small dick. Ah. Kick him in the toe, watch him drop. This is the end of you. He's like, oh man, that kinda hurt. Final round fight. Jumpies. Jumpies off environments. I, I meant to get some intoxination edited this weekend, and I, I 
I was dealing with a bunch of technical problems. Um, my bank's website's down, or my credit union, I should say, and it's not letting me use my debit card on websites. Um, it, it is for like Amazon and stuff I've already registered, or I put my bank account information in. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, but it's not letting me, like, I was trying to buy DVD Fab, which is a DVD ripping software that lets me, um, put DVD information into uh, the video editing pro program I use. And it just, it wouldn't let me do it. It would not let me pay for it. I'm like, look, I'm trying to give you assholes money. So I tried downloading trials of other programs, so I used up my trial of that. Alright, what would work well with a forearm? Do sure. Let's just do the who's next. Oh, if I don't have to hit an attack, because those always screw up and end up hitting somebody. Shh, I love doing fatalities on bosses, which he's kind of not now, but he still looks like one. Scorpion. Well, uh, he actually has a he actually has a different muscular structure underneath. The weird no. Whoa! Did the background just glitch? Whoa! Okay, I'm going to. Start capturing. And we're back. We're back with file three. The only reason I'm doing this is if I do go over 20 minutes, um, importing it into the video editing programs, just like, no, fuck you, I'm not doing this. And I have to restart it and restart it and restart it. And trying to cut it into pieces takes, my it took me like an own. hour and a half to just so, cut it into pieces the other day. And then I have to render it, which takes a long time. I know this is a bunch of technical shit you don't care about, but... Like, that's just why I'm doing it. You may not even notice that. But you will now, because... I'm, like, talking about it while I'm fighting Shinnok. Alright. So yeah, Shinnok in MK4 was just, like, Shang Tsung, except he couldn't change shape. He just impersonated people, which he seems occasionally to be on here. I unlocked him, but I haven't played as him yet, so I'm not exactly sure how that impersonation thing works. Ah, I love that. I love using the environment. They got that from Injustice, which is a, the same studio made this game that made Injustice. Boom. So, Shinnok turns into a big scary monster at the end of Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. Uh, not to mention Serena shows up in this game a little bit too. Um, I was like, oh man, like, I liked how Shinnok was kind of a cool villain in Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. He got kind of gypped. He was never, he wasn't really that cool in, uh, in Armageddon. Like, I, okay, nothing, nothing other than, like, maybe the, some of the story stuff was that cool in Armageddon. Um, there, the fatality, I, I'm not gonna get into Armageddon. I have that game. I could do a gameplay video on it and show you what's wrong with that game. See, look at that, look at that. He impersonated me. I'm not sure. What's going on with that? So maybe I'll do when I do. Uh, maybe I'll do another video where I'm playing with somebody, and I got a camera. And you can see us playing. But right now, this is just what's up. But in this game, he turns into a scary monster again. I'll let him transform. Usually, I skip over this, but which is awesome. <laughs> Tremble before me, as I absorb Earthrealm's power. This isn't really a spoiler. If you go through the tower, this happens every time. So it's not like it's spoiling the story. Yeah, he doesn't look like that before. He looks cooler now. Alright, I might lose to him, but I don't have to fight the previous form again. Ah. Now, a lot of my moves work on him. Almost all my moves work, moves work on him. So, so, I know a lot of boss characters in Mortal Kombat have like a... Uh, oh, god damn it. Have like a move immunity. Oh, shit. He might beat me this time. Drink that shit. Boom. Uh, there it is. I'll let you watch this, uh... Little animation, his victory animation is cool. Yeah. I like the golden claws. Wins. Woo! <laughs> Woo! There goes Scorpion's head. Final round, 
So yeah, I like that. I like that I can skip back to that final round and not have to... Uh, I hate that movie. Gotta duck it. I keep getting in a hurry and not ducking, not thinking about what I'm doing. He has his own, uh, I don't, did I just say this? He has his own fatality set. The one I've seen is fucking awesome. Unless he does it, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but it's it's awesome. It's the one where he splits the guy in half, splits you in half. So if you ever see the one where you get split in half, that one, boom. That doesn't really ruin it for you, though. Yeah, he has a unique skeleton. That was one of the cool things they did in the first Mortal Kombat, uh, or the 2011 one, I should say, is they gave everyone, like, unique skeletons. There you go. Because uh, Midway, or MK Team for Midway, was really lazy sometimes, especially the Mortal Kombat trilogy. They cut so many goddamn corners in that game. And, and Deadly Alliance wasn't a case of, um... Laziness necessarily. I just don't think they. I think they were on a time schedule with Midway, and they were just like, "You have to get this done Remorse at this time." Or your mom weighed heavily upon Scorpion's soul. His desire for vengeance had brought Earthrealm to the brink of destruction. Scorpion offered to perform Harakiri to atone for Harakiri. I like to see that come back. Suggested a more productive alter. Perhaps you should. Beat off Instead first. Of death, yes! Raiden sentenced Scorpion to life. He imbued Scorpion with a small portion of the Jinsei's power, linking him to Earth Realm's essence. Scorpion and his Shirai Ryu clan would protect the Jinsei and Earth Realm forever. Yay! I like seeing Scorpion as a good guy. So, yeah. That's sort of what Deception had him do. He was like a tool of the Elder Gods. Um, no, but in, Dis in Deadly Alliance, everyone only had one fatality, there were no stage fatalities, there were a few stage, um, what were they called? Hazards, I guess? Stage hazards? Where you could get hurt? I think, maybe I'm, I, I might, I take that back, I think I'm thinking of Deception. Ugh, the Buddha statue. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of Deception, so no, like, Deadly Alliance didn't have, <laughs> anything in it other than here's this 3d fighting system that we made that's way better than mortal kombat 4 we're sorry here's some fatalities and that's okay like they did what they had to do and then deception was like the perfect version of that system that they created minus the death traps which were cool but kind of shortened the battles like a lot like first round within like three hits you could kill someone and then Armageddon was like, oh, here, here, here's no fatalities. It's creative fatality, which aren't that great because we, we, okay, like, here's the thing. In Armageddon, they could have taken every character from Deadly Alliance and Deception, gave them the fatalities they already programmed for them, and then created just one per new character. So yeah, characters like... Cyrax would only have one fatality from Deadly Alliance. Scorpion would have like three because he had two in Deception and one in Deadly Alliance. Or they could have created one fatality per character for all the characters and then put the ones from the other two games. So some characters might have one fatality and then some characters had four fatalities and then and then maybe have the creative fatality system as something that, that was separate. So, I don't know. Like, Armageddon irritates me. And then they had motor combat. You want to say that they did... Oh, oh, well, they didn't have the time to do that because there's so many characters. They couldn't give them all fatalities. They made motor combat. Okay, if you don't know what motor combat is, it's a kart racing game that came with Armageddon. It's on the disc. It's 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 a shitty Mario Kart. It And it's shitty. It's so shitty. Like, I was playing Double Dash at the time, and it, it pales in comparison to that. So... Ugh. So yeah, this what, what are my impressions of this game so far? I'm going to do uh, an official review in the next week or two. Um, I have some time next weekend, so I may end up doing an entire review. Because I basically... I beat the story mode. And played, I played it online. I played a lot of tower mode. I'm going to get some of the other stuff knocked out so I can really get a good feel for, for it. So I can do a review. But um, I, it's really good. I, I really like it. I think... 
I kind of wish stage fatalities were in it. They're not, but given that you can literally choose like 13 ways to kill a person per character, it's pretty it's pretty extensive. So I can't I can't complain too much about it. Um, plus, that's just icing. That's not the game. That's not the actual fighting system. That's just icing on the cake. So, <sighs> I, I do like all the online stuff. I like how it updates. I don't care about the microtransactions. It's a non-issue for me. The crypt is way cooler than it was in the last game. And, um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, just, if you really liked Mortal Kombat 2011, you should pick this one up, because it's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, they do have that new cast of characters from the, uh, from the future, 25 years in the future. Um, he had the first gay character in Mortal Kombat, which I barely noticed that line that everyone's talking about where he's like, they don't care not what your heart desires, what's in your heart, not who your heart desires. It doesn't matter. He doesn't come on to any dudes or anything like that. Even if he did, I wouldn't care. But no, they just keep it low key. They're just like, oh yeah, he's gay. Moving on, he shoots a bow. Kung Jin's gay dude, whatever. And that's that's probably how they should treat it. They should just treat it as, hey, this dude happens like other dudes. Moving on, and that's a good way to handle it. Um, well, that's it. I beat it on tower mode, and I'll maybe do another gameplay video or two with this game. And I will. Uh, I'll see you, fucking nerds. Later.